just I just wouldn't just stick stick with the 300 stick with the 400 stick with the 650 just have fun sure sure you can you can buy a 600 or a 1000 at some point but like enjoy the process of of oh you know I get to get a new bike instead of I just start with all the power in the world all right so y'all seem to really like the videos we're gonna talk about money or things pertaining to you know purchasing a new bike or whatever so today hold on here's shorty Hey, I know you. Hey. So y'all seem to really like the videos on money and buying new bikes and shit. So today, what I'm gonna do is just go through Facebook Marketplace and talk about why I would buy a bike or why I wouldn't buy a bike or whatever. Um, we'll just kind of chat. I'm gonna be doing this based on a few things, budget, title status, um, whatever. We're going to go off a of $5,000 budget, so let's say you have five grand to play around with. That's your, uh, that's your money in this game. So we'll see if we can find a few good $5,000 bikes across every different genre of riding. So dirt bikes, sport bikes, uh, beginner bikes, uh, naked bikes, cruisers whatever you name it no uh no trikes though no three-wheelers i don't know Last night I've never been to a Bucky's before. That shit was gas. I bought the, the the beaver nuggets. They slapped. I ate a whole bag. All right, I'm gonna turn this off until we get there. All right, we've arrived. It's very bright, very pretty outside. Hopefully, nobody comes here. Knock on carbon. I'm gonna make no noise or nothing do my thing so let's talk about bikes real quick let's hop on facebook together as a community how nice there's a lot of bullshit on facebook marketplace craigslist wherever the fuck you're looking for there's a lot of dumb fuckery that goes on but you should be able to get some good finds going so not sure how well you guys are going to be able to see the screen, but I'll start a screen recording just in case. For today, I'm just going to be looking on Facebook Marketplace. I don't really suggest Craigslist all that much. You can find some good stuff on there. I just never really have, um, and I never really got into it. So, Facebook Marketplace, you're on here. One tip that I saw scrolling reels the other day was search divorce or uh, the wife or whatever under the motorcycle section because you'll find all the divorce sales or guys that are like oh the wife wants me to sell it uh, you know those motherfuckers are going to sell it because they're going to do whatever their wife tells them to do so that's not a bad idea um i haven't found anything crazy yet but it's worth a shot um all right let's go into so we'll go into more vehicles vehicle type motorcycles this will give you a really really broad spectrum of shit to look for or really these are all just bikes of any kind so for your location i'm gonna search basically all of colorado um search pretty much however far you're willing to drive the bigger the search you have the more bikes that you'll find that are worth your time but i'm gonna just leave it at that for now i think the the highest you can go is 250 miles find here Anytime you see a one, two, three, four, whatever, they're just looking for an offer or they have the actual price in their uh, in their description. 
they're not actually asking $1,234. So, let's go with, hmm, we have $5,000 to spend. This is not a bad find. Listed over a year ago. That's pretty interesting. Garage kept, never drop, mileage will go up slightly. Okay, 2017 Ninja 300. Awesome, awesome beginner bike. Nothing wrong with it. For 3,700 bucks, we are 1,300 bucks under budget. So that gives you more, more money to pocket and put towards other things, gas, insurance, whatever. Registration, if you're going to do that. Um, when I see listed over a year ago, or it was listed a long time ago, that tells me a handful of things that could be true or could not be true. Um, one thing it tells me is that he had it overpriced for a really long time and nobody wanted to see it. Or people did want to see it and they didn't want to offer him the money that he wanted. Cool, whatever, it happens. It could also tell me that a few people went and saw it and then they determined, okay, this is like, this has some serious problems that the seller didn't address. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, let's see, mileage will go up slightly for occasional rides. Okay, we got like Fender Eliminator and that's pretty much it. That's mo like, you're not gonna find a whole lot of aftermarket mods on beginner bikes for the most part. Um, this would be one to really look into. I maybe wouldn't pay 37 for it, maybe. You know, always go a little bit under asking, even though they, they've already marked it down from 43. Try 35, try 32, you know, whatever. Just show up, look over the bike if you like it, and then you can be like, all right, hey man, I brought 3,300 with me, that's what I'm willing to give you for this bike, and he, if he says no, he says no. Walk away, find another one. It's not the end of the world. So that, that would be a great beginner sport bike. Sport, well, beginner bike. I'm not even gonna call it a sport bike, it just looks like a sport bike. KTM Duke, same thing. Beautiful bike. Uh, what's the mileage? Only has 300 miles. I'm selling it because I don't have space for it in my house. Okay, so that tells me that he's not a super motivated seller. Doesn't need to sell it right this second. So he'll probably be pretty stingy with that 4,500, but considering it was only listed eight days ago, I bet he's already probably got a few offers. So another great option. Let's see, let's narrow this down a little bit. We can throw on our filters, $5,000 or less. I'm gonna try to keep it to fuel injected bikes. That would be my recommendation. There's nothing wrong with carbureted bikes, but like if you don't know shit about motorcycles, it just, it just makes a life a little bit easier to not have to rebuild carbs every now and again, or have to tune them for your altitude or whatever. Um, so we'll we'll try to stick to fuel injected bikes. Okay, dirt bikes. 2019 YZ250 four stroke. That's not a bad deal. Maybe maybe five grand for a 250 is a, is a bit much, but that's pretty sweet in terms of dirt bikes. Not a bad deal at all. Uh, FMF ODI grips. Okay, grips whatever. Don't care. FMF. That's pretty nice. Having an FMF pipe is not bad. It looks like it's just a, I don't think that's a full system. Could be wrong. I don't know, it's been a while since I looked at FMF pipes. <sighs> okay, so looking at dirt bikes, dirt bikes are a little bit weird because they don't run on the same mileage system that most bikes and cars work on. They run on hours, which is honestly more useful knowledge to have than mileage because you can see you can keep up with the maintenance a little bit better. Um, if the engine just idled for 50 hours, but it, you know, but like this engine, I could turn it on right now and just let it idle until it ran out of gas, but it wouldn't put on any miles. So the engine is accruing mileage, but the bike itself isn't. So um, hours are a really good thing to ask for when you're looking at dirt bikes. Overall for a 2019, pretty sure that has electric start. Yeah, it does. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, I would I would love to ride that bike. Again, be skeptical. Ask, hey, what's, what's the hours on it? Do you have maintenance receipts? Um, that goes for any bike, but especially dirt bikes because dirt bikes need to be so constantly maintained. So, okay, we'll call it good there on dirt bikes. That's a great one. Ooh, 2006 CR450 for 2,500 bucks. 
not bad i mean again it's carbureted so comes with some extra maintenance parts and oil 2500 obo pretty firm on price so no lowballing so if you are going to lowball somebody lowball respectfully you know you don't want to be a dick and waste anybody's time especially yours but lowball when you get there like look over that like have that person invested in the fact that you are looking at their bike because listen yeah listen nine months ago so maybe he he's really is firm on that price but if you walk in and you're like hey man i got two thousand dollars cash right here you can see it i'll hand it to you but that's the most i can give you i'm not going to give you 2500 people will tend to say yes when they can actually see cash and have it in their hands you know okay so let's see buell don't buy a buell just don't um Twenty twelve Ducati Hyper Motard. I would not as a beginner bike, but that's pretty interesting. Runs great, no issues. I don't know about that. If not for that price, there's something wrong with it. Um mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so um, let's look at ROMs actually. Let's start with a Honda Grom. Uh you got the Benelli, what is it, the Benelli TNT? And you got the Kawasaki Z, and then you have the Grom. I would just go with the Grom. But the Z and the Benelli are usually considerably cheaper than the Grom. So, yeah, Groms are going for... Groms hold their value very well. So, it's going to be hard to find a Grom for maybe less than $2,500. i am seeing mainly $35, $3, $35, That's... Oh, it's because it's got an engine swap. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, Benelli TNT for... 2500 pretty much the same thing let's go with cruisers let's see what we can find for cruisers so for those of you uh, let's see what is it honda honda rebel yeah um be a great first bike if you wanted to you know you watched your first sons of anarchy video video show episode that's the word i'm looking for will you shut the fuck up i'm busy all right, Honda Rebel. Again, looks like these are holding their value pretty well. But still, I mean, there's right right under budget. So what I'm going to look at here is, let's see. I don't like descriptions like this because then I have to offer, or I'm sorry, not offer. I have to message them and really kind of pull the information out of them. But hundred only 150 miles on it. That's not bad. Um, so again first thing to ask at that point is clean title yes or no if it's no just don't go don't go for it um yeah sweet okay honda rebels not bad only four miles yeah so you're pretty much buying brand new bikes at that point but without all the extra dealer fees um yeah that's a that's an option for sure let me show you guys what not to do um Let's search stunt bike. I love stunt bikes, but sometimes there's some weird shit on Marketplace that goes on. By the way, if any of my friends' bikes are on here and I shit on them, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just calling it how it is. Um, 2003 Jixer for 1500. I, eh, maybe. I don't know. Cle has clean title. That's good. Don't don't place the value of money higher, or I'm sorry, the value of a deal higher than it really is. It's okay to spend a little bit more money to just have a solid, reliable bike. That's really what I'm trying to get at. Um, don't buy like a $500 piece of shit. Oh yeah, Yamaha R6 stunt blow, blown motor um, for 1100 bucks. So I mean, if you're a mechanic sure but like why do you you don't want that for your first bike you want to be able to ride your first bike that's the point of it it's not to wrench on get a first bike that you can ride on reliably then get another bike that is your project bike you know same same kind of deal with cars so let's see we we went over let's go actually over like inline fours let's look up 636s i love 636s Damn, they hold their value. Okay, ten grand for a fucking what year is this? 
And I sent a reel by Crack Torture. Oh, that's cool. 2017, 3,500 miles. That's not bad. I, I see why that's priced like that. 10 grand, eh, maybe a little bit much, but. Okay, maybe not 636. Let's search Yamaha R6. Let's see what R6s are doing right now. 3,200. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's a 2004. I'm pretty sure that's carbureted. I'm not. Yeah, it's carbureted. The title is in the original buyer's name. All you have to do is go to the DMV and switch it into your name. Okay, so that tells me that it was title skipped at some point. Not the end of the world. It just, it, it, it doesn't really affect you. Um, but try to avoid it if you can. And, you know, you don't want to be involved in anything stupid like that. Because if you do get there and they're like, hey, we can't put this... We can't give you a title for this bike. Don't be surprised. Um, so yeah, again, that's that's a super cheap bike. I would I would be wary of that. Um, yeah, our sixes are holding their value pretty well too. What's this? It says a thousand. It's not. Hmm. I wonder what what they're asking for it, or if it's they're actually asking a grand for it and it's just stolen or something. see mr6 used aurora 6500 that's not that's not terrible 2012 clean title okay how many miles doesn't say cool yeah it looks like the prices of r6 has gone up quite a lot i bought my r6 for like 4500 bucks a few years ago okay here oh here's an r1 for 5500 it's an 07 oh it's johnny's i mean i honestly i don't think like super sports really apply for this video because you're not going to be riding the super sport just i just wouldn't just stick stick with the 300 stick with the 400 stick with the 650 just have fun sure sure you can you can buy a 600 or a 1000 at some point but like enjoy the process of, of oh you know I get to get a new bike instead of I just start with all the power in the world okay 650s like it, let's let's look at FZ07s because I love them let's see what they're what they're doing right now yeah 5500 6000 yeah that's pretty much where they're at okay 2019 with like no miles for yeah that's not fair 2015 for six grand. This thing's a 2015. It's not in that well of shape, but how many miles on it? Yeah, so you could certainly get an FZ07 for you know talk somebody talk somebody from 55 to down to five. You could totally do that. Great. Uh, that'd be that'd be what I would do. But uh, maybe maybe as a second bike, that's what I'd do. Maybe maybe chill on a 700 for a little while and just get it as a second bike you'll have a shitload of fun so yeah when i'm looking at these okay we got jesus nobody has good fucking there we go okay this is an fz09 but it has a full pipe which is pretty sweet it has a power commander new tire Fender Eliminator engine guards. I don't really care about that stuff. Front and rear flush mount turn signals. That's kind of neat. Billet bar mounted mirrors. Okay. So yeah, so a lot of that extra stuff, I wouldn't really look into it all that much. Those things are pretty cheap and you can do them yourself pretty easily. Um, new interstate battery and tailback. Okay, new battery's pretty sweet. Excellent shape. That's uh, how many miles? That's what I want to know. 6,000? That's, that's a good deal. That's not bad. It's a little bit older, but that's fine. It's the Yamaha. She'll be all right. I gotta take this helmet off, dude. My head is hurting. Okay. All right. You guys are gonna look at the sun for a little while. This four Ninja for seventeen hundred bucks. He does need a new auto pan, so it doesn't matter. Okay. See, see, like if you're if you're really looking for a 636, maybe as your second bike, and you're a mechanic, you know what you're doing. That's a pretty sweet deal. 1,700 bucks. Does it have a title? 
Oh, here's a CBR 500. We were talking about that the other day. 2017 for 65. That's a little much. I don't know what MSRP is, but that's. Eight hundred fourteen miles, so real, real low on mileage. It's probably doing just fine. It's a Honda. You could run that thing to thirty thousand miles. But it looks like somebody fucking straight piped it. That's stupid. Don't do that. Um, yeah, I, I probably wouldn't pay sixty-five, but that's a that's an option. Go to R three. Twenty twenty-three for forty-six hundred. Clean purple. That's that's not bad. Again, any of those like 300s, you don't really have to worry about like issues with it unless it's got a shitload of miles or it's been dumped or abused or whatever because usually they're just, people don't keep them long enough to like really blow up the bike. So, you know, that's that. This one, I've, I've been seeing this one lately. I kind of thought it would be cool to get my girl so she could learn how to ride. Disclaimer, lost title while moving. Got thrown into trash. Okay, so I don't want to get into that. It's a good price, but there's a reason why it's a good price. It's because it doesn't have a title, and that's a whole disaster to try to sift through, and it's going to be different every state, so I can't give you guys, like, advice on how to do that. But, I mean, if, if you know how that works, maybe you work at the BMV or something, and you can get that squared away, sure. Otherwise, in any other situation, I just wouldn't. Just spend an extra... 500 or 1,000 or 1,500 for a better bike that has a, a clean title. 2013 ZX6R. It's missing its belly pan. It does have a pipe. I don't know if that's a slip-on or... I, mean, I think that's a slip-on, yeah. Extremely well-maintained. Okay, well, then why don't you have a belly pan? Mostly highway miles. Okay. Eh, 7,500 is kind of a lot for a 2013. How many miles? Three, oh, 16,000. That's an option. I mean, I, I wouldn't pay more than like 65. But 636s are great bikes when you get to them. Don't, yeah. Uh, Jixer, that's cool. Don't buy a Jixer as your first bike. Debatably, don't buy a Jixer ever. But my own personal opinion. Oh, also, don't finance a bike if it's a private party thing, like through the other dude who's selling it. Don't do that. It's just sketchy. Um, most people won't really accept payments and don't really expect them to. Just have cash ready to go. Uh, I mean, if you wanted to finance a, a brand new bike, it's your own personal decision. I'm not Dave Ramsey. I'm not going to tell you to never go into debt, but uh, I think like if you can't save up five grand over the course of like a few months from working your job at Burger King as a 15 year old like should you even have a bike I don't know it's a little bit of discipline there just to save up and you could get yourself a 2021 Ninja 400 pretty five grand has less than a thousand miles on it yeah so just just save up the five grand and do that. All right, I'm probably gonna cut it here. I don't really know what else is super important. Um, I probably missed a handful of things. Now this is the most engaging video ever, but you guys seem to like the videos talking about buying bikes, so we're gonna talk about buying bikes today. Um, let me know what other videos you guys would like to see pertaining to beginner stuff because there's a million different things I could I could talk about with that and I don't really know exactly where where it would be the most helpful so let me know uh, anywho I'm probably gonna call it there head back I gotta go to the gym I got homework so yeah I'll uh, see you guys later thanks for watching peace